suddenly fun. All okay. right. Okay. So, uh, I will leave already. So, well, welcome everyone. Uh, thanks for watching SGQ Online 2020. My name is Rolusian. I'm, well, gonna run free on planet. So, this is a really high risk speedrun. So, I hope uh, I have a decent performance. But for now, I'm gonna let my commentators um, introduce themselves in alphabetic order. We so, have to Panchi. organize this. Hi, I'm Punchy. That's me. <laughs> hey, I'm Triss. I also run this game. I'm Uranium Anchor. He's a Mila Goat. And I have done Carol runs in the past, but nowhere near as good as Revolution is about to do, so. Also, you can so... wiggle the cursor around and make people make faces. Well, we're ready to go, yeah, I guess. Do the countdown. Um, well, I'm gonna let's do, do it. it. Carol, um, Classic Mob, then... You guys can explain what is the difference. So for now, I'm gonna do a countdown from what number? Five. From five, it's okay? Okay. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. go. And let's go. All right, so immediately uh, you can see he's doing these pounces, which is done by jumping and then pressing the jump button again in the air. It's a quick way to accelerate and, you know, build up a little bit of speed. This game's all about, like, building up momentum and then conserving it by, like, dodging terrain and stuff like that. Yeah, Carol is the hardest to build momentum on, uh, unless she has a bike. Uh, so it's really important to conserve momentum as much as possible. But yeah, so uh, the bike completely changes the way you play the character, and unfortunately the bike isn't available at all times. Um, so there's a couple of stages that you just can't get a bike in ever. But it, uh, when you do have it, it gives you a lot of neat tricks. And a fun fact about when you're on foot, as opposed to being on the bike, is you actually have a, a, a speed count. Nice. First oh. try. Oh. So, yes. So that trick was just discovered like a couple days ago. It saves about seven seconds, and it's sub-pixel based. Oh yeah, normally God. you're supposed to have to push a block from above, but you can nudge the bike at like just the right spot on the corner to hit the button, yeah. and then Since also and then also run across before the gate closes. Yeah. And also, that was a really like fast and hot kill. <laughs> the bike counts as an object, so it can hold the button down. He yeah. spent like 30 minutes in practice not getting it, and then he one-shots it during the actual marathon run. I hate it here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Ridiculous. I hope it's That's not just the kind of things you can expect from this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, in case it wasn't obvious, one of the Pace nice things great. that the bike lets you do is it sticks to basically everything. Uh, Carol can already stick to walls Whoa. all by herself, but... Uh, the bike, the bike's tires are basically made of glue. Yeah. I mean, in general, this game lets you get very friendly with ceilings, which yeah. you'll see a lot of in some later stages. This character has a wall jump. It applies to more than walls, technically, pretty much anything. <laughs> yeah. Also, so this screen's pretty important. Normally, there's a, there's a boss fight on this screen. However... Hopefully it won't. If you mount this wall in the right way, you can actually climb above the stage yeah, and there's yeah, an end cool. trigger on top of the stage, so you can just end the stage without fighting the boss. Yeah, because when yeah. you beat the was... boss, there's normally a little cutscene that plays where the character like jumps out and does a little victory animation and runs off stage, but the running off the stage is what completes the stage, not killing the boss. So you yeah. just, if you can get up there, you can find the trigger and you can move on. It's lovely. Yeah, that was that was an amazing Dragon Valley, by the way. That, that was, was such a good stage. Yeah, that was that was that was cool. <laughs> Two seventeen is yeah. a really dumb well, that that though. Yeah, I think I think my yeah actually very I think good. my PB on that stage is like a 228, but that's without some of the glitches that we found since then. So it's definitely without the switch. That's actually very good, honestly. Kind of like yesterday. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's like one week old. It's really recent. It was like Galaxy Brain. No one actually promised to donate if I got it, so I'm, I'm waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think um, I think that uh, that boss skip actually used to break the timer and they actually they fixed it for specifically for speedrunners because it would yep. just make the timer show zero at the end okay so it would kind of break end timer yeah, coming up asked. here you're gonna see the first instance of zipping so when you get caught inside of like terrain in this game the the fix for it is the game just pushes you up it just shoves you up 
And that's convenient because the goal of the stage is to press two switches that delete these yellow and purple blocks, but they're both actually on the same map. They're just separated by a large wall, so you can zip from the lower one to the upper one. But because he hit the switch for the yellow switches on the below thing, both of them may be activated, but you can still see the purple blocks, but they're not actually there. <laughs> so you yeah. walk and straight helps. through them, entering the boss arena from the wrong side. It helps yeah. because this is like a puzzle stage. It's kind of non-linear. He's pulled yeah, repeatedly doesn't... there to attempt to desync enemy movement <laughs> cycles from their normal patterns, because that Let's happens. See. This Let's doesn't save very much time. He just likes doing it because he likes to make loud noises. I did. He loses real I did. time. And actually, this is a discussion that should be brought up because this game runs off of in-game time, and that's how we rank runs on the leaderboard, not real time. So there are actually a lot of strats in this game that will lose a bit of real time uh, in favor of in-game time. Uh, so that pausing, of course, would be one of them. <laughs> Here we have a little, uh, yep, yeah, little check checkpoint warp. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of timer shenanigans. Then, but some of them still. Some of them say both real and in game time. My favorite part about that checkpoint abuse is that depending on how fast your hard drive is, you can tell when to time it by whether or not the stage stutters slightly. <laughs> yeah. Well, as soon as the camera starts moving, you know that uh, you know that you're good to do the skip. Is there the is way a good I always did it. For it anyway. that, that's yeah. a less funny cue. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sure, for sure. You get, you get the little screen jitter. Anyway, some nice movements through the stage, and actually something to mention about this stage. You may have noticed that we're not on a bike because there are no bike power-ups in this stage. None. Not a one. Anyway, Rainbow will casually almost get himself killed by these moving blocks to go slightly faster. <laughs> No, actually, that's just like the second for Carol. It's like, I'm very forgiving. He say. thinks it's very forgiving. I don't. <laughs> what? Nothing in this game okay, is forgiving. IBM it's a very blocks. punishing game, as all three characters. Oh, the noise hang on, and it's very far after. So here's an auto scroller. We okay, can sit on this Carol's, bench while we wait. Can I sit? Car Carol needs to relax. So Carol can hear the nations, actually, if you yeah, want. Yeah, just for a second. Coming in. Uh, we've got Sonic Kick okay. with $5, says, Really happy to see Freedom Planet representation here. It was one of the games that started my work as a content creator, and I love it to death. Good luck to you, Revolution, and let's share the hype for Freedom Planet 2. Yes, Freedom Planet 2, this game's getting a sequel. They are still making it, I promise. I promise. So that was a mid-boss. You want some more donations? Yeah, probably two more. Yeah, um, uh, actually, now yeah, I am about to find yeah, out. Yeah, maybe we should explain sorry. this. The second this boss of the game is bigger. ironically one of the hardest. It's, uh, so this is pretty the most much important. the biggest in-game timer abuse in this game. Basically, what's happening here, real time. Uh, look at the top right corner. The timer's off screen right now. Because it's off screen, it's not ticking. It's not counting. Now it's yeah, back on screen. I um, get it. If you can, if you can hit that boss fast the... enough uh, and like transition to its second phase, the timer will actually stay off screen for some reason, and it will continue not ticking. So you can basically fight the boss while the timer's off screen, and it actually saves in game. I time. mean, for not timer freezes, this is a very good fight so far now. You can hit like multiple timer freezes in a row, but the arms get sequentially more health with each phase, so it gets increasingly just more difficult to do and tighter to do on the same cycle. Because the funny thing that. is that while the, while the timer is off screen, the meter is also off screen. It means you don't get more of it. <laughs> right. If and the meter is invisible, so that doesn't Carol. regenerate either. Another big issue with that fight, though, and it's something that's prevalent throughout a little, like, most of the game, too, is that you have to kind of combo it with, like, these, this rhythm to do the wild claws. And this fight is notorious for dropping inputs. So sometimes you'll just, like, not inputs. attack. And it's really bad. <laughs> Uh, well, we're fine for donations now, if you want to personalize this hack. Yeah, some downtime time here. Yeah, sure. Uh, Zach Kill Gaming gives $100 and says, had to donate for Sonic and Friends Block. Shout out to the runners, the staff, tech crew, and everyone else making this event possible. Thank you so much. How do you know this is the Freedom Planet Block with four other things? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, big shout out to guys in the Sonic Block. They already consider me part of the block, and I'm really grateful for that. You treat us like a little brother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe one more? Yeah, I love this song. Yeah, sure. I love this song, uh, I guess. E EPS gets $50 and says, Good luck to Ooh. Revo on the run. We've all been waiting for it. And may the subpixels be kind to you today. <laughs> yeah, subpixel gang. We can say this is the subpixel block. Yes. You're going to be hearing that a lot over the next, like, two hours. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, coming up on this screen, uh, it's gonna be a tr it also exists on the first screen, but Carol can't do it. We call them wrong warps. And basically what's happening is the way that you hit the fade out, like at the end of the screen, the screen transition, what's happening is you're essentially storing like a checkpoint position, like coordinates, and then loading them in on the next screen. So you can load, like you can spawn in halfway through the screen and it saves mm. a bunch of time. It's kind of hard and to explain. It, it only works on these two, for, it only works on two Fortune Knight screens okay. in the entire game because their transitions are programmed differently. Why they are programmed differently? Because if they weren't, they crashed the game. Why did they crash the game? Don't know. Don't Once know. again, that's just kind of how this Don't game know. is. <laughs> I mean, it was programmed in multimedia fusion, so like... The, this game is both an, like an, a fairly impressive technical achievement, but also it is spectacularly weird on the back end as a result. <laughs> A lot of edge cases and strange occurrences. That was an IME boss, by the way. The wrong one is not, which probably not that salty, but I guess it's the marathon lock. Typical. Well, you got the button press immediately, so clearly everything couldn't else have gone right. That was such a sick beginning. Anyway, we have some nice movement here through the mall. Maybe one more donation? Yeah, you got it. Making it nerdy, 27 gives 20 bucks and says, I need to see the RE3 speedrun in my life. How have we not reached that incentive yet? Come on, chat, let's get there. Just as a reminder, we are at about 26,000 out of 80,000 for that, so let's try to get those donations in. Yeah, you said that jump. Yeah, you'll, if you blink, you'll miss, like, some of the harder Carol, jumps in this game. <laughs> oh, God. Accidental wild kicks are definitely a yeah, thing. Yeah, that happens when you buffer. Uh, yeah. That's the reason because we spam mither all the time and we pretty much don't want uh, to right, have mither. That's a yeah, funny thing about Carol because, like, as Lilac, you kind of want to have meter to do, like, dragon boosts, right? Because it's fast. Nice but boss. as Carol, it's the opposite. You want to have empty meter as much as possible because if you accidentally do wild kicks, it's really slow. Except in, but, like, combat like, scenarios. Yeah, but you don't, but, you don't actually need any meter in your meter to boost with the meter. You can do but it But it uses none. meter up. Yeah. It uses meter, but it doesn't require meter to have. So this, this boss would actually be faster if you were not on the bike, but the game actually forces you to be on the bike. It will give you a bike if you don't have one. Yeah, yeah, and the bike is indestructible in this. You haven't seen this so far, but the bike breaks after three hits, and you don't... If, if, if that was the only bike pickup in the stage, you don't get it back, ever, which, like, ruins Carol's ability to move quickly, so you have to be very careful not to get hit a lot when playing this uh -huh. character. There, there is actually a bikeless category, but uh, I've never tried it myself. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> That was being a nice panda right away. That was really good. And one thing that's to like, note about this boss... Like aggressively cycled. That was, it was, yeah. It's, it's okay. kind of cycles and kind of RNG as well, but for Carol, it doesn't affect her as much. You can kind of just react to the pattern. Um, for Lilac, if you get some bad like RNG patterns, it can actually lose a significant amount of time. So something actually very interesting about this game that got me when I was playing Castle is how the interactions with other characters happen during the boss fights. It's like very cool, but in the speedrun sometimes you really don't want Lilac to be on the way or Carol when you play as Lilac. All right, so the thing that everyone usually brings up about this stage is the fact that uh, <laughs> you'll see here in a minute, he's going to get the bike power up. And there's only one bike in this stage. One. Now, now that would you know that would normally be okay right i mean you have stages that have zero bikes so you got to be thankful that you get one immediately after this bike power up is a row <laughs> of enemies that are able to instantly take your bike away if they hit you <laughs> it's great level design because <laughs> they, they do multi-hit damage and multi-hits yeah. each count as a hit so if you get hit three times bike breaks it's over That's it. bye bye Go home. Here's, here's the bike let's hope he can keep it the movement for this like to avoid getting owned by the, the it's really scary really cool really scary, but it's very cool. Okay, Let's jump off this wall, and we're in nice. there. Clear it, clear it. Clean, clean. No Easy. problem. You are the only person, you know. I think I lost maybe half my runs to just immediately losing that bike there. Oh, it's the, it's the major hurdle okay. of this run. So yeah, normally it's not a lot of runs, it's quite salty, but... He has to keep this bike for the entire rest of the stage, but the, the, da the super dangerous part has passed. Not Normally that it's a free ride for the rest of it, but... 
So this stage is structured in the fashion where you have to complete like three ships in order to progress, but they can be done in technically any order, but really you want to do them left to right because the leftmost one has the bike first. And at the end of each ship, you fight a mini boss and then you have to knock out the cannons, except you don't have to knock out the cannons because it's, it counts as complete even if you just jump off the ship and touch the right edge of the screen. There's Which actually can just about make, just there's about. Actually, there's actually an achievement for doing that as well. We have time for a donation? Yeah, sure. I think so, yeah. yeah. Might as well. We've got $50 from my Lexi who says, hey, Ooh. Revo, good luck, hey. have fun. And I'll donate another $50 if you get Dreadbox first try. Oh. Okay, oh pressure's on. And <laughs> I'll nice. donate another 100 on top of that if you somehow get Dread Blocks. Oh, my lord. <laughs> donation oh, goes to the incentive of choice for whoever calls dibs first. Hundred dollars is not enough for dread blocks. Just give it to Revo. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell. All right, Revo gets the uh, incentive. Yeah, take yeah, it on my turn. Sure. Sure. Okay, how is shield? You've made him actually gonna try to be dread blocks now, which is not the best idea. <laughs> He's gonna do it now. I mean, it's fine to do one or two attempts. It doesn't yeah, lose Yeah, I can do time. a couple attempts, depending on how the run's going. <laughs> but we'll, we'll so get there says. when we get there. That's so that's a whole... Yeah, it's in the late game. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So, so welcome. anyway, this is um, fail. now we have the boss. Uh, it's fairly simple. All you have to do is hit... He's got these, like, feather orb kind of things, and you just have to hit all of them and then hit the main body. And you do that five times, and then the fight's over. The only different phase is uh, third phase. Uh, yeah, he does it. One thing about this fight, though, is that there's a lot of downtime, so perhaps another donation. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've got... Where did this one go? We've got Full Metal Dragon 42, who gives $50, says, The hero of this game is Carol T. My name is Carol, and I'm currently sipping tea. I feel like it's destiny that I should donate, thus I have. <laughs> it is destiny, uh, for sure. Go fast, everyone. Thank you so much for your donation. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fantastic. Carol. Enjoy your day. And that's Sky okay. Battalion. Pretty pretty well with that. Pretty solid. That's uh, like 10 seconds of my goal, so it's okay. Don't be so judgmental of yourself. Come on. <laughs> it's going. It's going. He's made pretty track. solid run so far. Uh, uh, Rebo was way too hard on himself. Imprecise sections, I would say, but it's way okay. He's, he's so critical uh, of himself all the time. He's like, oh, it's 10 seconds off my goal. No, 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 no. It's like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Speedrunner standards. For okay, this level is great because you start with a bike. That's all. This is the only level we start with I, bike. I don't even remember why, because I don't remember anything about this game's story, but you're breaking out of jail in the cutscene right yeah, before the this stage. You're basically you. running from the cops the entire this entire stage. You, you fight one like of them too. 12 as well. 12 you fight gets Hera. arrested and breaks out of jail by kicking it very hard. <laughs> yeah. So every time he's transitioning between screens, you may see the menu opening. That's because if you hit restart and then unpause the menu, it like decreases the amount of time spent fading in and out between screens. He's been doing that a lot over the course of the run. Yeah, yeah that it, saves uh, all, both things in game and real time. It saves a little bit of time each time he does it. Yeah, it's but like you a, can do like it a half lot. A second. It adds uh, up the thing very about quickly. those. So it's it, they all kind of have different timings. It's based on like how far off the screen you are or like how far into the fade out. Yeah, because none of the fade outs work the same. <laughs> no, and so they all have different timings. Some of them are really strict and some of them are basically free. And the thing about that is if you're too early and you restart, then it actually, it, it restarts. You get sent back to like the previous checkpoint and it wastes a ton of time and it's horrible. It's extremely um, punishing. For Carol, but I'll still go for it, just, you know. Yeah, you don't get the bike back if you mess that up, unfortunately. No, yeah, if, you lose the bike too if you restart. If your brain is huge, you can do it with the quit button, too. <laughs> yes. does, you don't have to do it with the restart. You can do it with quit, too. But if you fail that, yeah. then whoa. That's a good method for grinding Yeah, actually. Yeah. Anyway, this is a mid-boss. Yeah. Uh, She's trying to arrest you, but we'll not so have any of that. You, she can pick up, like, she can spawn shields to defend herself with, but you can just hit her fast enough that she doesn't get any shields. Okay. And then for some reason, they I have a like, giant shields. sub. What? 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 Oh. Where you cover? It's all good. Cover? It's all good. Okay. Yeah, so apparently, it's I didn't. Okay. 
We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're okay, fine. we're fine. I'm sorry, I've just seen someone in chat post. That commentator sounds a lot like Punchy. I am Punchy, it's me. <laughs> yeah, that is Punchy, wow. Hello, so good, good ear. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> it's not very obvious, but that entire yeah, subsection, it is it's, move, it's moving up and down, and so it can be, it can screw with your platform timing right, in that's some on, pretty that's subtle ways. cycle, and that's kind yeah. of more significant for Lilac again. Carol, Carol just kind of does the screen. Same way every okay. time. Big. Nice, I got the feel. All right, in show, me, way. show me a good boss fight. Show me uh, that this corner. Is show Hopefully. me the corner. He, he's gonna try this to stunlock this. This is like one of the hardest this. fights as Carol. Yeah. Yeah. Just he's like gonna try up. to stunlock this against the wall. If you boost into the corner, you can chain wild claws like crazy because it counts as stopping the boost. So you get another one. So, so that, that attack he did there, we call it the bullet rain. It just wastes a little bit of time. It's basically a sign of a, like a suboptimal fight. He, he didn't get any flamethrowers off, so that's yeah. still good. <laughs> Is that a trouble guy on Coventry? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right, let's not get crazy now. Sorry, sorry. I should probably close <laughs> chat. It's making me laugh too much. Wow, wow, Revo, okay. wow. So here's a fun fact. Uh, if you pause and restart, the screen kind of like wipes from left to right uh, before actually restarting completely. If you do that at the end of a stage, like when this little screen pops up here showing the time and stuff, the, the screen won't fully wipe and it won't, it won't fully reset. So you'll just get like half the screen at the end of the stage. It looks nice. It's a fun little visual we love thing. It. Yeah, so this stage is one that Lilac does not get, but both Carol and Mila do. Carol doesn't have any of her own exclusive stages for some reason. Too bad. So sad. So this one's based on the, the cycle of the lasers that go on and off every so often, and you can get stuck on them very easily if your cycles don't match up well. Yeah. Okay, that was, yeah, and <laughs> wild, okay. wild kicking through the lasers only helps so much, unfortunately. Yeah, because wild kick makes you just completely invincible, which is how he's bouncing off of spikes and lava every so often. If, if he's kicking, help you out. That was cool. nice save. All right, here's a fun thing. If you pause and restart here, uh, during the fade in, in most stages, your your movement is locked. You can't move. But for some reason, in this particular stage on this particular screen, it's unlocked, and you're just able to move. And so, like I mentioned with the Mantalus fight earlier, with, when the in-game timer is off screen, it's not running. So by restarting there, you're putting the in-game timer off screen for just a couple seconds, but you're still able to move. So it saves in-game time, but loses real time. Because that transition is also programmed slightly differently from the other. Yeah, it's it's weird. Uh, there's actually, you can do two of them, uh, but the second checkpoint here, you already have the bike, and so restarting would cause you to lose the bike. Mila can do that second restart, and it saves time for her, but for Carol, it's bad, because, again, you lose the bike. You can't lose the bike. You can never yeah, lose the bike. The bike is your life. Especially when you're trying to go, like, up vertical walls like that, it saves so much time to have the bike. And that was a mid-boss. Ooh, big jumps. Yeah, so this next boss that he's going to be fighting is actually uh, slightly glitched. He is technically off the top of the screen, and you can hit him, but you don't want to kill him uh, before you actually start the fight. Um, so he's, when you see him, like, when you see Revo swinging at nothing in a minute here, uh, that's what he's doing. He's trying to just get the boss down as low as possible without actually killing him. Fun fact about that, though, is if you do too much damage to him and actually, like, you take off his full life bar, when he spawns in, he's just invincible. Yeah, and you that's why you don't actually do well that, because actually I think I... I wasn't there's sure a, about a, the amount of damage. That's a pretty good setup for it. I think if I save me there and do a full white kick, she'll be fine. Also, this section's kind of, like, maybe a little bit RNG-based, because you have all these abbeys, yeah. like, spawning in. You have to kill them all, it's kind of strange. But, but this RNG is not um, where the, the ninjas are spawning. No, it's more like it's the really, pattern they take. Yeah. Not a big deal. Not like a Jeez. significant source of time loss. Okay. And that's ah, the end of the pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> you just take him I down mean, to one health and then you hit him once and he dies. This is the gold I have. Uh, and that was a really solid trap hideout. 
Yeah, so far. Now is where the actual brutal run yes. begins. So starting with thermal base here, which <laughs> is like one of the most punishing stages in the entire game for all three characters. Oh, it's hard. He's, he's got a cycle he needs to try to make, um, or he'll lose like about eight seconds. Immediately, like from the get-go, you're on the clock. Yeah, it's really tight. I mean, you're always on the clock. It's a speed run, isn't it? But like, you, like specifically with this stage. Yeah, specifically. Yeah, so he's gonna try to do a, he's gonna try to do a zip through a moving platform here, but there's only a one particular set that you can get it off of. It's right here. Oh, 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 no, it's oh no, it's that was really close. close. If your position is just slightly off, you'll just pop out of the, the barrel, and we call them barrels. I... Okay, here we go. Okay, that's it. So that was that, that was about eight seconds last. Good. Get my golf this, this will be a moment for clapping. If we were. Live because I actually that's give, really give you hard to get. Anyway. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate Welcome. it. Welcome. So uh, we can damage both here because actually damage boosting is faster than white kicking or invulnerability. Oh yeah, because damage knocks you in the direction, like away from the direction you're facing. So if you turn in the opposite direction before something hits you, you'll fly forward rather than yeah. backwards. It doesn't matter where it also, hits you. Also, being nice. Hmm. Super Metroid strats. Also, yeah. this zip is pretty easy. Yeah, I was joking about this earlier, but like in this stage, Whee! you have like both the hardest zip and the easiest zip right next to each other. <laughs> yeah, you just you just like bump that box a couple of times and then step on top of it and it dips you through yeah. the ceiling every it's time. It's easy to do it's even easy. like casually. Try it, it sometimes. Is, it is because exactly as easy as it looks. There are books on this game that are actually nice. That's yeah. the first zip no, I learned, my... actually. Oh, it's a okay. slope. So that little pad there, <laughs> it's like a bomb. If you step on it, it explodes. But it it's like slightly raised up from the ground, and part of it counts as a slope. So you can jump off the slope and get speed from it. It's really, it's hilarious. I love it. It's tight, and it saves like no time. But Revel likes going for oh, it. Okay. So he likes going for that type of spicy. Thing. So this mid boss just has a lot of health. You just you hit it a lot. That was a really bad mid boss. It's a lot of health in two phases. Yeah, quite a mid boss. And so here's the first bike in the stage after we're halfway done. Hope we you like quick man because this is quick man. So maybe wow, time for one donation on this screen. Yeah, it's probably good because this is a quiet. Yeah, you got it. Uh, Punchy, I think you like this one. We got $25 from Squidly. Says, had to donate for the Freedom Planet block, and it's for other fan games too, I guess. <laughs> Love yes. this game, its momentum, and its absolutely incredible soundtrack. I've got Debug oh, yes, Ninja with $256. Block. Said, had to donate again for the Sonic block, which is best block. Also, this Freedom Planet run is on fire. Ooh, Big right fire, now, literally. fire shield right now, but it disappears when you touch the water. And he's going for the cliff. The fire shield makes you immune to fire. Funny that. Oh, well, I should be able well. to oh, easy. <laughs> take risks. Easy every time. Yeah. I don't know why Let's that go. works, but it does. Or he's playing like risky. a tiny little hole. Oh. Those crushers kill you if you touch them, and he's just yoloing it because he's, yeah, he's, he's feeling it. He's really it's, feeling himself. It's now. on a yeah. cycle, so if, like, if you know how the beginning of the screen goes, you can pretty much feel where Ooh. the crushers are going to be at any given time. Yeah. They, they will kill it. They will just straight up murder you even through invincibility. It's great. Wow. I got the... Interesting slow there. Also, that's like a long elevator section, but Carol can just run up the wall and skip it all. You like yeah, you enemies and stuff. You can do that. Oh, well, all three characters kind of do that in their no. own different ways. I'm gonna oh, um, <laughs> he's trying to get the quick kill on the boss here. Yeah. It is actually worth it's better resetting. Resetting because actually so this the boss is strange is... because like, oh, sorry, you got it. If you miss the first phase, actually the position you get it for second and third phase is really awkward, so it's yeah. actually a lot better restarting if you don't get a quick kill. Its patterns change in weird ways. And now, if I'm correct... Actually, now we have like... I mean, I'm gonna show off this. Yeah, so... <laughs> nice! Teleport! <laughs> Last Completely one didn't work. work. Pointless! So, and we have like one minute worth of donations in yes, one because this is, this right is donation now, time right here. Oh yeah. We have Auto a map that is like not even counting game time. No, it's like a minute long and it's boring. <laughs> so yeah. donation time? Yeah, oh, go yeah. for it. All right, we got some. Uh, Alex Reese gives $100, says, GDQ brings me so much happiness, so I want to give what I can during the Freedom Planet plus that blue spiny guy block. And we've it's got fine. Jake Six with $15. It says, my first job in the industry was on a Sonic game, so they'll always be close to my heart. 
Good luck on these great runs. Go Team Chaotix, gotta go fast. And then Anonymous gives $20, has gotta get the bonus game. $5 for me and three others that maybe can't afford it. Thank you for your donations. We're up to 27,000 towards that 80,000 goal to keep GDQ running longer. Yeah, nice. So well, basically on this section, we're riding a tank and, you know, shooting and stuff. It's, uh, I don't know, it's actually not bad for a casual experience, but in the speedrun, we pretty much rather to not have this, but, well, it's that. It's a nice it, yeah, breather before Battle Glacier. It's, like a minute it's, it's also two buttons. Actually, not even mashing for Carol, he's just holding. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, this section works definitely. <laughs> for Lilaga, you have to mash buttons, but for Carol, you pretty much just hold B and C, and that's all. Oh, yeah, the tank can actually jump, too. But you're not seeing it, but it can jump. Oh, you can jump, and you can double jump. I think that Carol, without the bike, can, <laughs> cannot do, actually. Rocket-propelled tank. Platformer. Okay, this is a brutal level now. Battle Glacier, the longest and most difficult of the stages. Yeah, we always say that, stuff. oh no, that is not so snow, that is actually salt, and we got a really not convenient early game. Losing my shield there is actually very dangerous because uh, this wall is like a storm of bullets everywhere. So I have like higher risk of losing my bike yeah, it's, if it's I really easy to do not take care. sniped by a stray projectile and potentially lose the bike if you're not careful. Stuff just falls in off screen yeah. constantly behind you while you're going. It's a mess. Just really the easy one frame fail skip. That fatal skip is really hard. I can't believe we just... <laughs> Why did you do yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hey, <laughs> you got, I guess I if you got that wrong, I would have made fun of you for it. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you got got the backup bike. Um, yeah, restarting, I'm doing the screen again. <laughs> That counts as a backup bike. Okay. Right, coming up on this screen is like one of the probably the most annoying mechanics. There are these drills that kind of pop out of the ground and you have to knock them around and hit them into blocks to like clear a path for yourself. But they have really weird hitboxes and sometimes don't play nice. But this time they behave. That, that, that was clean. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Uh, now Good you have job. a set of three in a row and this is really difficult. Triple, 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 triple. Oh, easy. Easy. Every time. difficult. That was so cool. That <laughs> difficult? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> it's hard. Don't believe his lies. Yeah, it was hard, actually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like no, this no, no. You got it, you got it, you got it. So you have to lead this boss in a very specific kind of direction to not get much by it. it. There you go. I could have done an extra hit, but it was very dangerous in that moment. Do you want to finish this fight close to the right wall as you can? Because it leaves the screen faster, which makes the stage, like, load in faster. There's actually a couple places where that applies. Okay, this trick, fortunately, is only pixel perfect. Exactly pixel, pixel perfect. perfect. Oh, this trick sucks. If you do it wrong, you suffer. It's got game. a really good visual cue, though. Does it? Yeah. Uh, for Carol, it does. Because he just for hits Carol it immediately. Yeah. <laughs> there, yeah, there's a very pretty easy uh, pixel I'm gonna cue not for the entire. You just, you if just if just you're off by even one pixel, then you get stuck in a little room and you have to restart and lose the bike, which sucks. Yeah. He just gets it. He just does it. It's it's fine. It's fine. Mm, it's, so they, so <laughs> they say. So they say. If you're not if you're not in the right position, you just wait. You just different. wait for the next cycle. Uh, losing time though. No. Well, sure. No. <laughs> Either way, I think this is going pretty well so far. Yeah. Considering I the guess. complexity of this stage. No, you are, he's so critical of himself. Just take the compliment. <laughs> Here we have this mid mid boss that was in uh, Dragon Valley. It's back. It's back. I know. And I know it. Easy. So normally there'd be another wall of like drills that you'd have to hit through, but Carol can just casually decide no and jump around the whole thing. <laughs> Some tricky movement there. To move on to the boss. This boss is funny in that you can get bonus hits in before the boss fight actually starts. There's an achievement, There's an achievement for it. You can hit him twice. Maybe even hit him three, three 
times. Oh, easy. Ooh, three. That was not it. That's really hard to do because these enemies that are on the ground, um, you can like run into them and they kind of give you hit lag and it's it's hard to jump up and time everything correctly, especially because the camera's locked Imagine in place. Imagine getting a stop <laughs> four. Oh, it, uh, stop four. Kill. Now that is impressive. Right there. That's pretty. <laughs> yeah, that was actually really nice by the glacier. Clean. That was really nice by the glacier. I mean, my biggest three four three seven. I honestly, I don't really know how I got it. Uh, the day I got that three forty seven was like, how did it, how did this just happen? Amazing. It's really good. What's it's a really, really good? PG, and this is actually obnoxiously close. This is actually faster than Lilac's world record. Yeah, That's actually, it is faster than Lilac's time. Jeez. Also, keep an eye. Watch as the screen scrolls up here. Wait for it. What am I looking for? Wait for it. It's not there? Oh, oh I didn't this what one. Are you looking for? I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, you can leave the bike up there, and it'll be there in the cutscene, just sitting oh. there. Oh. I forgot about drop, uh, dropping the bike. Yeah, it's okay. I just so forgot. The, the, next, okay. the last four I'm stages here are really short and kind of fast paced for Whoop. the most part. Mega stage. Uh. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, so Hopefully this stage has a lot of cycles. Finger. Mostly okay. like things that can hit you, like projectiles and stuff. Every enemy has their own cycle. So yeah. um, this game actually being uh, losing time always leads to even more time time loss, like a snowball effect. And here's the bike. Okay. Now we go fast. Okay, here's a fun thing. So when you're on the bike and you're moving, it has like an active hitbox. It can hurt enemies. Um, but the thing about that is when you when you hurt an enemy, you get a little bit of what, well, what we call hit lag, which basically it's it's like four frames or something where you get stopped in place just to like add impact game feel. Um, but it's slow, we want to avoid that. So because all of those enemies are like lined up on the ground there, you actually want to jump over them. And despite the fact that being in the air in this game, which we haven't explained yet, air drag is a pretty important mechanic, being in the air slows you down. But in that case, it's actually faster because you're jumping over all the enemies and avoiding the hit lag. Crucially and slightly counterintuitively, being in the air only slows you down on the way up, not the way down. Yeah. <laughs> That's why swimming down makes Doesn't you still go fast, but okay. not up. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> yeah, so you, you want to be off the bike for this fight because on foot combat is better. Nice. Oh, and the frame perfect pause. So at the end of every fight, there's like a bit of slowdown just for dramatic effect. But if you pause on the exact frame that you kill the boss, it it doesn't do the slowdown. So it saves real time, but not game time. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Oh, uh, moment of truth. So moment this of stage, truth. This is really hard, but it saves is, a lot of time. So it's totally worth it. This is the stage that everyone's the been dread waiting box. The dread box. The skip is massive, it saves like 40 seconds or something. It's nearly impossible to do with this character, but apparently it is possible now because things. Right, you so gotta get this box in a very particular kind of place. You gotta get this up was there discovered, breaking it first. This was discovered possible as Lilac back in like 2016 and only recently for Carol. And He's got wait it. for box it. Box on the head. Wait for Here's it. the jump. Wow. We're in there! Nice. Nice. The faster dread box that's, that's in America. Oh my gosh. That was Alexia, really was good. I, I just saved it like five, se five minutes on the estimate, by the way. Uh, yeah, the so, don't want to say anything, but this may actually be like world record pace. Nah, it's not. It's tough on No? Now. Are you sure? Nah, really made was really bad. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna check my split after this, though. So. It's really good. <laughs> Maybe don't. So, well, uh. I have to actually give a big shout out to Doom, uh, another runner of this game, um, Lilac runner, most precisely, who actually found the second part of the trick. Uh, we didn't have an actual RTA set up. And to Yuki, another friend of mine that actually helped a lot uh, to figure out that setup for the second part of the trick uh, to work actually more consistently. So it's thanks to them that it's actually a thing we can do on run. So thank you very much, guys, for all your help. And Tris here in the commentary, because the concept of uh, two uh, stages set up uh, came from Lilac. That was actually a nice contribution. Lilac was really awful to run in that sense until, well, 
very uh, that, game with a nice This game setup. is neat because like things that happen with one character, you can sort of translate them over to the other character because the physics are all the same. You just sort of have different move sets to work with. So science in this game is really interesting. That one trick, clipping a box through the ceiling, saves like 50 seconds and has like a four-year history behind trying to make it gradually it's more amazing. consistent. Because <laughs> its original form was wildly obnoxious to work with. Yeah, there, it was very really hard to get. There's a reason it's an icon on the speedrunning Discord. There's a reason it's, it's called box. Dread. Yeah, it's got a special Besides name because we hated it that much. Dread, but now it's cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess we're seeing another 50 from my Lexi now, right? Ooh. Yeah. Yo, it's money. I mean, you're the charity money, I guess. But you also owe me money. Pay up. <laughs> 222. 222. 222. Um, responding to a previous question, nah, I'm plus... Uh, no, wait a second, this is not the right comparison. Just lie and say you're on world record pace, they won't know. I don't think I'm... I'm <laughs> plus 13 <laughs> you're gonna know from now. my gold splits. He's on world record uh, pace. It's the run. Tr trust me. So, Final Dread Not 3. This stage is just really fast and really quick and really short. This is my favorite stage, because the sound cues are all so good, you can do it blindfolded. I did do it blindfolded. Yeah, I actually have fun. seen that. That was amazing. That was there's also There's also just a lot of bikes scattered around, so it's really not very punishing, even if you make a mistake. Well, except, except that, actually, after this last bike I just took, uh, there is no more bikes in the first train, so actually, it is punishing. Yeah. There's like I, three I very know. clustered at the start. Four. What is that? Why are so many bikes at this level? <laughs> it's supposed to be the fast stage. You even There's have so these like you level. see these like blue things that he's running through. They're speed like speed boosters. They put you up to the speed cap of the game instantly. Just straight up. There's a fire shield up here. Okay, yeah, fire shield. It's nice because there's like a lot of fire. You see these rings of fire that are on a weird cycle. And you have to dodge them and it's kind yeah, of strange. The fire but with the fire makes shield, you completely immune to fire damage. Yeah, very okay, that was make you immune to other kinds of damage. Oh, wait, and here's another case of consistent logic. This is another case of jumping over enemies because if you ran through them all, it would be slow. That was clean. Yeah. Straight through, straight through. You jinxed me. <laughs> ah, just kidding. <laughs> but that jump is actually very finicky. Still is not much time loss. That backup is like only one second slower. You're looking good so far. Well, it's a uh, weird FD3, but very functional. Don't don't forget, don't forget, don't forget the to, camera. It's hard to go slow in this stage. Don't forget the camera. It's pretty consistent. Well, how uh, have you gotten the skid noise stuck? This plush uh, belongs to Flat RB, so I'm gonna do this for him. Mila boop. The skid noise so is fly, One of the most insane runners uh, pre planning community have. Uh, it, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, have been a big honor actually running with him on this game. Oh gosh, so he's one of the most talented runners on, in any game ever at the moment, frankly. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so this is, you gotta fight Milo. Surprisingly, this is not a Cave Story reference. The developer has actually not played it. But if you hit the boss at the right kind of timing, you can skip an entire phase, because normally it sort of like goes on the ceiling and then like shoots blocks at you and what have you. Uh, but if you time also, the kill correctly, you don't get one more of them. Just like that. But first... Right. Something that wasn't explained to is uh, he had the fire shield in that fight, and the fire shield, besides making you immune to fire, also deals a little bit of contact damage just when you're like beside an enemy. This, he broke this, the camera. This scene oh. is supposed to be very dramatic. But we're not and? seeing what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> this game is busted, by the way. <laughs> the cutscenes so are all programmed with the logic of the actual game itself, so they break in spectacularly weird ways when you can. It's a miracle it's a this game works as well as it does, frankly. <sighs> and this is the final stage. He's, he's going to go for dreadlocks, which is uh, like dreadlocks, but once. even more impossible. Position yourself this trick like is so. like... Whoa! Oh, no, 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 so close. close. So this trick is like... I like to say this trick is sub-pixel perfect. But it's, it's not white. Like, there's like there's a couple there's like a range of values that work, but it's it's much less than one pixel. The degree of accuracy is below a pixel. Oh, it's well, pixels are divided up into one thousandth in this game, which is like insane. Okay, that. But here's up up I here is have... a much easier version of this zip. I shall be fine here, not pausing at all. And in the wall you go. go. We the big climb. Yeah, he grabbed the shield, shield on the way up. 
Yeah. And these kinds of zips work particularly well in vertical stages because uh, you go if, up. If, if he had gotten dread blocks, he would have skipped that entire first section, but it's really hard. Well, now there's a giant oh, laser. Uh, I forgot about that. Okay. Uh, well. I'm gonna get so back normally to you can use this laser to do cycles. some damage boosts. But since he's got low health, he might die here. Oh. No, it's good. It's all good. He, he'll just take safety strats. Fine. Yeah. For, for certain values of fine. I got back to normal. Uh, so you should be able to take a of this. I do want to let you know we did get a $50 donation from my Lexi. Good. Making good, good on their promise. Yeah. There it is. Excellent. Can't make those bets if you don't honor them. I'm okay. jumping up spikes. Yeah, that works. That is a backup, honestly. Um, <laughs> I, I have done a really bad model of this screen, but well, it's okay. The spikes, spikes are there specifically to prevent you from doing that. <laughs> yeah, but then it also gives you it also gives you a shield that protects you from spikes. He just didn't have it. He just did it anyway. <laughs> oh, by the way, every shield has a different function, and actually there is one particular shield for spikes, and it's not that one. I just yeah, have it's it's a little like hexagon more. The final boss rush. Three phases. This is or, phase sorry, one. Yeah. It's similar to the mid boss from Battle Glacier. The health bars of each of the phases are actually in the background. They're those green and red tubes. Oh, oh I never noticed that. Really? I didn't notice that. It's <laughs> the first yeah. time. I mean, I have 7,000 yeah. hours on this game and I didn't know that. Yeah, it's yes, a health actually, bar. It's cool, isn't fun it? Fun fact that you know, Revo it, just hit 7,000 hours in this game. <laughs> Just Ever. like last night? Never has yeah, last night. During my last baby, I got that baby last night, and I missed uh, one, one phase. Right, he actually That's also right. set the world record last night, and he was like DMing me in Discord as it was happening. About how bad the run was. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> about how bad the run was, yeah. Okay, okay. Much. final phase here. This is really fast paced, yeah. so just... Get, get ready on time. It'll be over before you know it. Two wild claws, three wild claws. Dodge the grab somehow. I don't know how that didn't hit you, I don't care. And we're done. Woohoo! That's well, it. Um, what is. Uh, it was a low order fix, actually, in game time. I'm gonna say. Don't spoil sure. it. We gotta sure wait for the end credits. Time. So, yeah, once again, real time doesn't really matter. We use the in game time. Yeah, and we, we have a nice auto splitter set up. So, gonna quick, uh, Milo said, um, and she dead, never woke up again. So, well, this is the credits. Um, I don't know. Quick shout out to to Stride, the developer of this game. Uh, to people in Games on Quick, um, thank you so much for having me and for insisting on actually. I mean, I have passing for so much for actually making it to running at this event. So this I'm really was grateful. like three years in the making. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. Um, the, the community wanted you. to do a cow run for a while, but it kept not happening for reasons. So also shout out to, um, to Free on Planet community. They were with me on Voice Call before this. And I run some other games, uh, starting with Sonic Heroes, but also I am a runner of, uh, of Celeste. So thank you to my Celeste nice. friends for the support, so uh, CF for sure. And well. Um, 3605, man. 36. 3605. Yeah, 3605. That, that was actually a pretty, very yeah. good yeah. performance, Jeez. I would say. A lot better than I and expected. For record, the record now is like 3525. Yeah. This one, 25. And also, oh, whole wow. light, light record. So, well. Very solid. Um, run. Also, I don't know what to say. Thank you guys for commentating. Thank you everyone who watched, uh, every people that donated. Um, and keep going for charity. Don't forget this is uh, the real reason behind this. We are getting a lot of fun, but don't forget about uh, healthy doctors. I don't know. You know, they have uh, really hard times right now. So uh, we totally need to support doctors. So let's go. <laughs> well. All right, thank you to Revo for that amazing run. That was so intense to watch. We really appreciate it. The chat is going crazy the whole time. We have got a $5 train rolling. It's just been amazing. You had so much love coming in. We've got a $10 from Dave Stereo that says, Revo is seriously one of the most talented people I know. Please follow this man. He is great, and we all agree. 
Thank you so much for that amazing run and the amazing commentary. We really appreciate it. All right, we're going to head over to an ad from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. Salut, je suis bienvenu dans le monde. Je suis Je suis agent de la stérilisation avec les Laissés sans frontières à Bangui, en République centrafricaine. Merci à tous ceux qui ont soutenu notre travail. Au travers de vos dons généreux, en tant que membre de l'EDC Sans Frontières, je voudrais vous dire merci. Ce sont des fonds comme vous qui nous permettent de faire notre travail. Merci à tous de nous aider à faire une différence et sauver des vies.
I'm telling you, Mom, I don't get why everyone's f- so fixated on the lamp. Like, I think if they really saw it, they, they wouldn't be into it. It's got, like, a weird base and then, like, a, a brass thing. And I don't even know. What the, I mean, the lampshade is pretty cool. I'll, I'll give you that. I like the lampshade. Oh, oh, oh we're, we're, we're live again. We're live again. We'll, we'll continue this later. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick 2020 Online. My name is Sent, and I am here to quickly, as is in the spirit of Sonic Block, tell you about some of the absolutely amazing prizes you can donate for. Now, all of the prizes I'm about to talk about are available throughout the Sonic Block, which is Freedom Planet uh, and The Last of Us as well, honorary inclusion, why not, to the end of Sonic Heroes. So make sure to get in your donation before Sonic Heroes. If you want the short and dirty of it, a $20 minimum donation is going to get you entered into everything I'm about to talk about. But let's talk about... Friends, welcome back to SGDQ 2020. I'm going to read a few donations and we'll get moving on into the Sonic block proper. We have $25 from Tyman DH that says, excited for the upcoming Sonic block. Sonic is one of my son's favorite game characters, so it's great to see a chance to get to watch some speedruns to get together as well as support a great cause. Good luck to the runners and remember to go fast. $250 from Debug N- Ninja that says, I had to wait for the Sonic Block to donate, which is always my favorite. Gotta go fast. 